All right, man, let's talk about Zion Williamson has a weight clause in his contract. But first, let's talk about J.R. Smith. He made comments regarding Damian Lillard staying in Portland, saying, you know, this thing really going to rot in Portland. Everybody seemed to have um, – everybody seemed to have that belief. They had that same belief. And, you know, a lot of people believe that, you know, ring chasing is becoming a disease now, right? And – um you know, but let me play it real quick. Uh oh. Oh my bad. It's gonna be a minute, but you know, ring chasing is is becoming a disease now. So um hold on man, it's just gonna be difficult. But it is, you know, everybody feel like you got a ring chase to to, to get a ring or Whatever the situation may be, but here we go. Dang. Like I love Dame. I love his game. I respect him for you know what I mean doing what he what he's doing, but at the same time it's like you just gonna rot and, and <laughs> throw it, bro. Like you you are unbelievable. You, you two point up. <laughs> yes. Literally, like go get the give me a bucket. Mm -hmm. He's gonna get it. And he's showing up, he's gonna play hard as hell, all of that. But I'm not the Brad. It's nice. I'm not about to rot in DC. But, like, but, it's a nice place. But he don't even know where he play at. He like, I ain't about to rot in DC. It's nice, a nice city. But I'm not about to rot. I mean, if he, why, why, if Damian Lillard want to stay in Portland, why does that bother everybody else? That's what I'm trying to figure out. If Damian Lillard want to stay in Portland, why is anybody concerned? That's the million dollar question. Why is it J.R. Smith concerned? Why do J.R. Smith? Why is J.R. Smith worried about what Damian Lillard do with his career? If he liked being in Portland, he liked the community, he liked playing there, that's what he want to do. If he don't want to go, not everybody want to go chase rings and click hop and join up and gang up on people. Some people like the challenge. Ever since LeBron did it, it really popularized. It's not, people try to blame Boston, but it it wasn't Boston. They always traded for it. And Paul Pierce was already there. So it really wasn't Boston. You know, LeBron, the best player in the league, decided to go play and learn how to win under my aunt, under Dwayne Wade. And, and he, you know, he colluded with Chris Bosh, you know, to go there uh, a couple seasons before. It really was Melo, but Melo didn't understand the, how, how the financials work, right? You know, that's when everybody starts while Durant started doing it. Everybody started teaming up. <clears throat> the number one player in the, in the league is doing it. Everybody else should do it. David Lillard, he ain't about that. He don't want to go team up with LeBron. He don't want to go team up here. He don't want to go team up there. And you look at some of the cases, Kevin Love go team up with, with LeBron, his numbers go down. Chris Boss go team up with LeBron, his stock and his numbers go down. All right? You keep looking at it. Um, but somebody else's numbers went down, too, somewhere else. I, I just had it on the tip of my tongue, too. You know, oh, Kimball Walker leaves Charlotte, his numbers go down. So maybe Damius is 100%, you know, want to stay in Portland. He only signed a two-year deal, but, you know, you know, do people want to see him in prime in his prime, you know, compete for championships? Absolutely. You know, absolutely. But everybody's not gonna click hot though. You got some people that's just gonna be the lone wolf and do their own thing. And that seemed to be Damian Lillard. So I don't really understand how that how that truly how that truly concerns um how how it concerns um how that really concerns uh you know how it really concerns uh Dan name of J.R. Smith. If that's what he want to do, that's what he want to do. It ain't nothing that we can do about it. You know, he wanna stay in Portland and, and, and rot, as you say he can stay in Portland and rot. But one thing he doing, he's still an active basketball player. You no longer active. And these dudes get mics in front of their faces and, you know, start saying, wow, shit. I don't know why that's a concern. He had 122 million reasons over over five years, two years to stay. Who really walking away with that, walking away from that type of money? Come on. You know, everybody don't, everybody, some people want to beat, somebody want to, some people want to beat David. Everybody don't want to be Goliath. 
you know, and if I guess Damian Lillard, fine. If people start, if people put, if he, if people put other players over him, like Westbrook over him, because they got MVPs and they made it to the finals and they had, they made deep runs. I think he, I think he, I think he, hundred percent cool with it. I think he hundred percent all right with it. So, you know, if he if he ain't tripping, I ain't tripping. I would love to see him, you know, in prime time. You know, he got a little bit of his prime left. You know, I love to see him on prime time. You know, doing this thing, but that's not you know, it's not what he that's not what he want to do. That's not what he want to do. So it is what it is. Let him rot where he rot at. You know, it's crazy that people are concerned about what another grown man doing that he ain't bother nobody. But and that's what he want to do. That's what he want to do. You know. That's just prerogative, but you know, let me know what you girls and guys think about what J.R. Smith said. That's that's his opinion. But Zion Williamson apparently got a a, a weight clause in his contract. You won't believe the weight that he got to stay up under. Hold on, let's talk about the weight that he got to stay up under. Which they saying that uh, they said Zion Williamson's $93 million contract requires him to stay below stay below 295 pounds. That's still heavy as hell. That's still super heavy. What's that song by uh, Gucci Man? Heavy. So heavy. It's getting heavy. You know what I'm saying? That's still hella heavy. That's still a lot of weight on his body, bro. That's still hella heavy. For him to be walking around at 294 pounds. But it said New Orleans Pelicans won Zion Williamson around for a while, but only one big condition. The Pelicans star signed a five-year, hundred ninety-three million max contract earlier this month. They could work could be could be as worth as much as two hundred thirty-one million dollars. I think if you make an All-Star team next year, according to the Times, whatever that word is, the contract stipulates that Zion must weigh in at in at below two hundred ninety-five pounds periodically throughout the deal. His body fat percentage will also be monitored. So why so Williamson tipped the scales too much? The amount of guaranteed money in his contract can be reduced. Zion Williamson weight has been a question for the Pelicans. Anyone who followed Will's professional career so far probably understand why Pelicans would do this. 22 year olds, only 22 weight and condition have been major issues. Like when he reported to camp, training camp last September, well above 300 pounds. He was coming off of a foot surgery, though. Even at his list of 284 pounds, Williamson is amongst the five heaviest players in the NBA. And the rest of the cohorts in the group are all six foot ten or taller. Williamson's six foot six. Williamson's uh, body shape is uh, preventing him from being one of the most explosive players in the NBA when healthy, but that has uh, been rubbed. Williamson has frequently sustained lower body injuries since entering the NBA, missing forty four games as rookie after tearing his lateral meniscus uh, in his right knee and missing all last season with a broken metatarso in his right foot. In three years, Zion has played a total of 85 games. Williamson himself seems aware of the issues as the time, whatever, Picano, whatever, reports that he has been wor- working with a personal trainer and private chef to improve his condition and nutrition. He was clear to play without restrictions in May. It speaks to Williams to start power. The Pelicans still opted to give him the max contract. He could easily reward him over the next few years. He has so far averaged 20 point, 25.7 points a game, 7.2 rebounds, 3.7 assists. Per game while shooting uh, six, over 61% from the field. When adjusted minutes in possession, Williams has scored a higher clip in his career than Kevin Durant and Steph Curry did last season, but he ain't played that many games just sample size. And the NBA ain't really got adjusted to what he do right and what he do wrong, what, what his weaknesses are and what his strengths are. And when he, he ain't played enough games for, for that to happen. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, he, he ain't played enough games for that to happen. So, you know. But um, yeah, you know, it is what it is. You know, Leonard Fournette was down there in New Orleans eating too, and he was he came in camp almost two hundred and sixty pounds. So, you know, it's good eating down there in New Orleans. It's the city bouncing back, keep bouncing me against the wall. You know, but um, yeah, this is proper. You know, I'm surprised they ain't try to avoid this contract. But I mean, it sounds like he ain't want to be there, bro. And I still believe he don't want to be there. He saw them winning, and now he want to be part of it. What happened when they hit another low or hit a bad stretch? So I don't, I don't like how he handled this at all. He ain't been professional. Um, you know, 
No, he might be another in the long list of Duke flops in the NBA. But it won't be before, be because his talent. I I just don't think he gave an effort, bro. He didn't want to be there to begin with, and that's what it is. But you know, it's sad. The whole nine stuff of that nature, amazing talent, but immaturity. A lot of that immaturity reflects his parental guidance. You know, that's what it is. You know, real 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 parents and real stern and real good strict parents is. It's gonna tell you keep your chin up and play hard and work hard every day, you know, and make the most that you can make and you know until you know your contract is up, then you can walk away. You know, that's gonna tell you going there hard every day, not gonna be leaking out. Oh, Zion, I don't want to be here and we want to lead in the world and this, that, and the third. All right, whatever, whatever. So, you know, just this a reflection on how he was raised, bro. In my opinion, you know, but. Like I said before, it is what it is. I'm not surprised, but you know, hopefully he, uh, hopefully 100. You know, hopefully he he eventually becomes 100, percent and um, we see the best of he can best. But with his weight and how he built, it's on, it's, it's going to be a matter of time before he fill out his prime. It's not going to be long. He got really good years, and then you know, I think he should be probably around the 255, 260 mark. That's gonna seem super light for him because he's more muscular, but he gonna say them knees, we're gonna change his game. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check Detroit, um, excuse me, check the NBA Talk playlist for more videos like this. Um, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe button, it's the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance of notification below live drop video. And then you want to support the channel, cash out dollar sign CJ Good313, memo CJ Good313, PayPal in the description. Um, also, you can find me on Apple Music, Spotify, Twitch. Uh, Radio Public, Amazon Music, whole nine inside the link tree. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.